All right, Johnson has asked, what are permeable and semi-permeable membranes? First of all, for some reason, I love the word semi-permeable. Like the first time I saw it, I was like, yes, this is a word I'm going to love for the rest of my life. It's very satisfying to say. So semi-permeable or permeable. First of all, permeable means things can go through it. So imagine rain hitting the ground and it's coming down, it hits the sidewalk and then runs off. The sidewalk is not permeable. Now imagine it landing on grass and dirt, flowers. That's permeable. It goes through. Semi-permeable will be something where it goes through a little bit, but not all the way. So some of it runs off, some of it stays on. So when we talk about the human body or we talk about chemistry, when we say permeable, we mean something just goes through willy-nilly. It lets anything through. Semi-permeable means it only lets certain things through because semi means halfway in math. In science, we don't really stick with the half thing. So if you're in math class, semi means half. If you're in science class, semi means part of or sort of or kind of or a little bit or a lot, somewhere in the not all of its range. So a good example of a semi-permeable membrane would be a mask. When you wear a mask, it lets some things through and not other things. We would not want it to be anything other than permeable, at least a little bit, because it was a plastic bag, you would suffocate. So it has to let air through. But if it let everything through, there'd be no point in wearing a mask. So we need a mask that keeps back dust or paint fumes or germs or whatever it is we're wearing a mask for. So that is a semi-permeable membrane. Now, the word membrane really just means a thin thing spread over something. So if you think about like a balloon, the outer part of the balloon is just a membrane. Or you put plastic wrap on a dish, that's just a membrane. So permeable and semi-permeable, stuff goes through or that only some stuff goes through. And then membrane is just a thin thing over something. So there's lots of membranes out there. And semi-permeable could really mean a lot of different things. If there's a curtain that lets a little bit of light through, it's semi-permeable to light. So uh, we use the word semi-permeable in my house for all sorts of random things because we can, and it's a fun word.